I don't even know where to start. There's so much I want to say right now, I don't even know how to even jump into this. Um, all I got to say is DJ Main Squeeze, bruh, I'm going to get you, dog. <laughs> I'm going to get you, man. You did not prepare me for this event, and you know it. Hey, man. Mm. Throw it to me now. Mm. That ain't loud. Mm. Throw the TV down. Yeah. You hear me, boy? Turn that TV down. Yeah. Oh, big it. Turn the TV down. I do, I do, you can. Jamal, I'm recording. <laughs> Cut it out. Like I said, man. Jamal! Thank you! What's up boys and girls? Welcome to another episode of the DJ Chronicles with your boy DJ Jimmy Hustle. And I do want to give a big shout out to everybody that's been checking in. I appreciate you guys so much. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. Uh, if you like it on Facebook and watch it on Facebook, please like it, share it, and all that good stuff. Um, Today is going to be a very uh, interesting day because I have a gig um, at a park called C.T. Brown and it is off of Mine Creek and um, it's going to be from 6.30 to 9.30 and um, what is uh, a potential issue is I hear thunderstorms and um, I'm praying and hoping that it does not rain on me while I am loading and unloading. Um, I do know it's going to be in the center, so thank God for that. Um, it's supposed to be for teens, so it's going to be somewhat of a, like a teen party um, thing where they can come in and just have a good time and uh, stay out of trouble and all that good stuff. Um, so that's what I'm doing. And I am doing it for my homie, my brother from another mother, Mr. DJ main squeeze shout out to you my brother i appreciate you so much man that joker right there worked just as hard as me and um he is the reason for me doing this event because he has a contract um with the center and he is unable to do this particular gig so i am the fill-in dj for him and um just making sure everything goes well and goes smooth while he's doing what he has to do so a uh, big shout out to him, man, because if it weren't for him, I'd probably be home watching cartoons, watching Trolls, uh, My Little Pony or something with my son. So, uh, appreciate you, dog. <laughs> uh, other than that, man, like I said, man, it's from 6.30 to 9.30. It's about 2 o'clock right now. So if it does rain, I pray it just rains and goes away. And um, right now, I'm just packing up everything, making sure everything's straight and working and all that good stuff. And then I'm going to load up the van. But right now, um, I'm just about to relax a little bit. And then around about 5 o'clock, I'll probably head on out there, man. But other than that, man, I just want to talk to y'all a little bit about something. I don't really like wearing uh, white shirts. I don't like wearing white shirts. And the reason is... Stains. Stains always seem to find me. No matter how, you know, cautious I try to be or anything like that, man. A stain, it just looks for me and just jumps on my shirt, man. Like, I don't even know what that's about. Um, like today. I got a white polo on, right? I wore it all morning. No problem. No issue whatsoever. I come home. I eat Chinese food. I put gravy on. I put it in the microwave. Uh, I guess I left it in the microwave too long. I took it out the microwave. I put it in my mouth. It's smoking. It's hot. So what I do, I turn my face like this and I blow it. And two pieces of rice came in, hit me right on my arm, just like that. I was like, dunk it. And I try to grab it. The gravy's on it. It's staying my shirt. It's right here. It's real small. Maybe, probably nobody won't see it. Only issue is, I know it's there. So it's kind of annoying. And, um... Yeah, it always seems to find me. It, it usually hits me right at the bottom on the shirt. But, um, yeah, it's just annoying. So I really don't like wearing white shirts. I don't know why I shared that with y'all. I just wanted to share it. Um, other than that, I'm about to go ahead and um, 
pack up my stuff and get everything ready and then I'm gonna sit down for a little bit and next time you see me, I will be loading up my van. So um, let's move on. All right, y'all, I got everything loaded in the van and um, I just took a nap and I feel a little bit better. Um, I took a nap while my son watched Trolls for like three hours straight. Um, I think he's still in there watching Trolls too. I feel sorry for my wife. But um, other than that, um, took a nap. Now I'm about to drink this Red Bull because we are going, we are going to be uh, dealing with teens tonight. So you know teens, man, they like to get down. So um, I'm trying to prepare myself now while we take this trip down this highway. So if y'all ready, man, book your seat belts, cause we about to ride out. Let's go. Alright y'all, we got everything set up, man. It is so hot out here already, but the sun is going down and it's still hot. And guess what I forgot? My dog on fan. I forgot my fan, man, and I'm so mad I left it. But um, other than that, man, I'm glad the sun is going down. Um, they got me outside, so uh, whatever I play is gonna be heard throughout the whole neighborhood, which is not a bad thing, man, because it may turn into a nice little block party or something. You get this thing jumping right. So we're gonna see what's gonna happen tonight, man. It may be something something to be talked about. I'm glad I brought my camera. Um, we definitely got the popos out here today. Um, it is at least two of them out here circulating uh, the premises. So I love that. Keep the popos out. Keep the popos out. Whatever you do, keep the popos out. That's all I'm saying, God dog. And I ain't scared to tell y'all. I ain't scared, but uh, you know what I'm saying? I grew up over here, so I ain't got no problem with it. But I'm saying, just keep the popos out. Keep the popos out. Keep your head in a swivel. That's all I'm trying to tell you, God dog. Ain't nobody gonna get me, man. I got all this stuff out here. Ain't nobody gonna get me, God dog. Just keep the popos out. That's what I'm trying to tell you. But other than that, man, we about to get this thing started, man. I know you can see me on the
I don't even know where to start. It's so much I want to say right now, I don't even know how to even jump into this. Um, all I got to say is DJ Main Squeeze, bruh, I'm going to get you, dog. <laughs> I'm going to get you, man. You did not prepare me for this event, and you know it. You know you didn't prepare me for this. Because while I was at the event, you kept texting me, asking me if I was all right, if I'm good. And now I see why. Because them kids drove me absolutely insane, man. And you knew that was going to happen. I would even have, my cousin even came through there, man. He came through there, and he saw the look on my face. He's like, yeah, them kids driving you crazy, ain't they? I'm like, yeah, they driving me crazy. He's like, oh, I could have told you that, cuz. I'm like, well, you did, okay? You did. And neither did my homeboy. So I'm just sitting up, man. Them kids, they just running around. They touching my turntables, touching my camcorder. I'm just like, what is going on, man? The little girl grabbed the camera and she just pulls it down and just starts juking on it. And I'm like, what are you doing? Why are you touching my stuff? This is an $800 camera, man. And I saw that camera tilt down so fast, I'm, my heart almost dropped, dog. I was like, come on, bro. And then, you know what I'm saying, then everybody want to be on the camera. They, you know, everybody twerking on the camera and acting up on the camera. I'm like, what is going on, man? So, them kids, man, they was, they was, they was getting to me, for real. They was getting to me. I ain't even going to lie, bro. I almost lost it. The little kids, man, the little girl came up and she started touching the turntable, scratching them while I'm supposed to be doing, playing the music. And I'm like, what are you doing? Can you stop that? And then, like, you know, I'm trying to be nice, like, you know, calm down, you know, just leave it alone. You got a song you want to hear, calm down. And she's still touching it, man. I had to get closed teeth on them, like, get, get away from me. Get away from these turntables. And then she kind of backed up, man. I'm like, what is going on, man? Like, who kids are these, man? What baby at, man? Where is baby, man? Like, like who kids are these, bro? <laughs> like, for real, man. That jumped crazy, man. So DJ Main Squeeze, I'm coming for you, bro. I'm definitely coming for you. I'm trying to tell you. We're gonna have a long talk, brother. But um, other than that, man, the kids had fun, so I'm glad. The kids had fun. Um, everybody said it was good. I saw people dancing down the street. So, hey, man, it was a good time. You know what I'm saying, out there. Um, I know I made a little joke about, you know, being in the hood, man. I don't care nothing about being in the hood. I started in the hood. I was born and raised in the hood. I DJ when I first started DJing, I was DJing in Grand Park and all that, so ain't no problem with that, bro. Ain't no problem at all. I still do it to this day. Um, other than that, I had a good time, man. If you guys enjoyed this episode, let me know, because I went through a lot for this episode. I almost didn't bring my camera, because I ain't want nobody messing with it. But you know what I'm saying? I was like, no, nah, I'm gonna bring it because you know what I'm saying, I want y'all to see this. Uh, see what I go through every gig every gig is, is not the same as you can see every gig is not the same It is something going on every time and uh, I am excited because um, I'm getting close to the 10th episode I would have never thought I'd be doing a dang on DJ Chronicle video and now it's lasting 10 episodes man So I am really excited man for that because that will be very soon um, So I'm just excited man but if you guys enjoyed this episode, let me know. Please let me know. Drop a comment or something because I went through a lot for this episode. And um, I am tired. I'm sleepy. And I got to get ready for church tomorrow. And I um, hope you guys have a good time, man. Keep watching these videos. Please subscribe if you have not already. Please share. Let me know what you think. All that good stuff. And I'm going to see y'all next go around, man. This is the end of the DJ Chronicle. Yeah, when I was going to come tell you that, but uh, you, I, I think you had already figured that out.